In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to rip out carpet really fast. You start by cutting it down the middle with a utility knife. This is a little hard to do. You have to really press through and get the fibers on the back. But if you press hard, it will work. Now we're going to just roll it up in place. Sometimes you have to rip the edges up just a little bit because the tacks on the tack strip are holding it down. You might want to wear an N95 mask or a respirator to do this, especially if there's a lot of nasties in the carpet. This is a pretty clean carpet, so it's probably just skin cells, not a big deal. If you have urine stains or chemical spills, you don't want to be breathing those toxic fumes. If for some reason there is blood in the carpet, absolutely wear that respirator. We do run into this from time to time, and you can get diseases from this. Do not play around with dried blood. Removing the carpet itself is probably the easiest part of this process. You can always cut the carpet into smaller sections if you can't handle a heavy roll of carpet. If we have a full crew of guys working on a job site, we will oftentimes roll the entire room in one go and carry out a several hundred pound roll of carpet. It's just easier to deal with. You tie duct tape around it and you're done. The carpet pad is going to be a little bit more annoying to deal with because it's not rigid. If it's gotten wet or it's really old, it's gonna flake apart. You might need to put it in trash bags. This one's intact and this is a high-end house with a nice padding underneath. So it rolled up real nice and we just carried it out. Consider keeping a small piece of the padding or carpet around to put your tack strip in. It's full of nails and tacks and it will cut you. You're gonna be, want to be wearing gloves. We like to use a massive demolition crowbar to do this usually. This one here is a little bit smaller. You just gotta be careful whenever you're working by tile. One wrong move and you've chipped a tile that's probably not even made anymore and you're in deep trouble. We've now reached by far the most tedious and annoying part of the process. We have to go through and pull all of the nails. If this is an old house with a high quality tack strip in it, say from the 70s or 80s, it's tough. And a lot of times these nails will pull with the tack strip, but the new tack strip, it's weak. The tack strip is going to break apart when you pry it up and it's gonna leave all the nail heads. We are now gonna buzz around the perimeter of the room and scrape all the staples out. A flat bar is by far the fastest way to do this. I wanna thank our sponsors of this video, The Wood Letter, an email for makers and woodworkers. Check it out in the link below.